Welcome back to Vancouver Drywallery Carpenter. Um, today I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite methods for doing corners. So this is not the one I choose most of the time because um, it's a little bit more time consuming than like using the super taper that I have showed in other videos. But I do think this one gives the best results out of all the tools that I have. Okay, so what are we going to use? We are going to be using the um, mud tube with the corner applicator. And actually, I have a second one of these, so let me show you what it looks like. It's this little red choo-choo train dude. I actually found this one on the ground outside a bank one day. Some taper was, you know, in a rush to cash his check. And go to some unsavory place. Anyway, um, all right, but that's what's on here. So basically what we do is we load up the corner. So if you've got any gaps, you're gonna want it pre-filled because um, with this method, if you haven't pre-filled the gap, then you don't get enough mud in there. Like basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna have voids behind your tape. So yeah, we've got, we've got it pre-filled and the key to this and I don't know if I'm going to get it right. Fortunately, I've had the whole top of this place to get the hang of it again. The key to this is how much mud you have on here. So um, you want enough, but not too much. So I've got almost too much, but let's get a nice close look at that. So you can see there's a little band in there. It puts it right in the corner and a little one inch band about half an inch away down the whole thing. And then the next key, so the reason this is slower is because it applies the mud and the tape in two separate applications. When I use my super taper, you know, I, it applies the mud and the tape at the same time, and that's my preferred method. But what's nice about this one is you're able to crease the tape really well. So, you know, you can get a nice crease on the tape. You have a little bit more control over your cut ends. Um, so what I mean is, like, instead of having really crooked cut ends or like having it be too short or too long, you can really kind of control where it goes here. Um, if you're overlapping a bunch of tapes at the same time, what I often do that I showed is I take, you know, the tape a little bit back, I get some mud on it and I put it up in the corner like so. So there's actually mud there. But yeah, basically, you know, it's about a quarter inch down. The tape stretches, so it's not a bad idea to give it a quarter inch uh, as you roll it. A roller is absolutely critical to this job, in my opinion. So, pull the tape right here. Get it nicely tucked in the corner there. So I've got this nice, low maintenance, gonna last me forever, blue line corner roller. This is critical. If you don't have a corner roller, it's just not gonna do the job as nicely. So start in the middle, work your way up and down. And so if we take a good close look at this, we can see it's left an ample amount of mud right here. And that's the key, is that ample amount of mud. So normally when I use the super taper, I use a two and a half inch flusher. When I do this way, I use a three inch flusher. And what's so nice about this one is you're gonna see, you know, if this one works out properly, after I give it a pass, then not only does it like smooth out and feather the edges really nicely, it also leaves a uniform coat over top of the whole thing. So that's what's so nice. So not only does it embed and feather it, it also puts a coat of mud over top of the tape in, in the first stage, like in the taping stage. So that's what's nice about it. But first, I gotta get this primed a little better. It needs a little bit of mud on there, but fortunately we can scoop a little bit up from the bottom here. So now, that should be ready to go, like that. Now if there's too much mud, it's gonna spill out the side. So we'll just have to wait and see how this one works out. Like I said, I had, you know, the whole ceiling in this place to practice. Back off a little bit here. Okay. So I'm very happy with that. 
Um, if you come take a close look, I'll try and get out of the light. Let's bring a little light over here. But you can see it's perfectly feathered in one pass. It's left mud over top of the tape. Um, and a giant mess at the bottom of the floor, but you know what? That's okay. The contractor's cleanup guys can take care of that. <laughs> no, we're not going to leave it like that. That's hideous. But I also don't usually clean all of it up. Kind of, you know, I got to give the apprentices some work to do. But basically at this stage, I'll get most of it like this. Anyways, and honestly, I might come back to that. But if you get a little bit less mud on there, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm gonna hear about this one in the comments. If you get a little bit less mud, like I was a little bit heavy there, um, and you go from the bottom up, you can leave it in the top, which looks like a nasty mess, but then cleans up really easy. So that's one thing to think about. Now, um, in order to finish this one off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a really light sand just to knock out any boogers. So this is not like, you know, with light sandpaper right on the edge just to take out any little chunks or crunchies that are in there. And I'm going to do my final coat running around the room again with the corner applicator. And then I'm going to use the three and a half inch angle head. Uh, not an angle head, that's um, angle heads are for fancy people. I just have the flushers. But yes, I'm going to go with the three and a half inch flusher over top of this. And then, um, you know, just finish it like a regular corner. And it's going to be really nice and awesome. Um, maybe I'll try and put some B-roll clips in there for you as I was saying all those words. Anyways, this is one of my favorite methods to doing corners because I think it does the cleanest, tidiest job. Um, short of, say, a bazooka and angle heads. I've never tried those yet, which I know all of you, like, um, egocentric pros out there were already typing out all your comments and have left by now because you're so superior, so... Good job, guys. I hope you feel better now. Happy to be of service. Um, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Hopefully you're doing well out there, and uh, till the next one.